What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's happening with the economic calendar thus far, what's going on with other factors following the markets, what you should be watching for as time progresses. But before I begin to double this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 of them. And the offer ends today in just about 18 hours. Anyways, for the market right now, I just want to break down something very important. SPY has seen a little dip this morning during the pre-market session as we're currently holding the 50 EMA on the one-hour time frame. And although SPY is down just a bit, we'll have to watch and see if you hold this support. Now, we had this tough resistance at 510 for the last two days, and it's been really struggling to break through this. So you have to watch and see if SPY can get a little retest. Yeah, I am seeing signs it's going to try to rebound a little bit upon open, but overall, it is still struggling to break past 510. It's a very, very tough resistance. So I'm going to be talking more about this over the next couple of minutes. I also want to break some more factors of following the markets, at least from now. So what's happening in the market for today? Today is Tuesday, April 30th, and I just want to call out that 15 minutes after the market opens at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have the Chicago PMI coming out to so look for some volatility at that time. And then at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the Dallas Fed Manufacturing Index report coming out. We'll see what that causes. That's going to be very interesting. So it might cause some volatility here and there. So watch for that as well. So look for volatility 15 minutes and one hour after the market opens. Watch and see what that causes. Now, for other factors, for today, we just had PayPal McDonald's and Coca-Cola announced their earnings for tomorrow, or not tomorrow, sorry, for aftermarket close. After the market closes today, we have Amazon, AMD, Supermicro, and the others. So we'll see what this all causes for the markets. But PayPal just announced their earnings, and they're doing relatively well. The share price is up 5% right now. And the reason for that is because they ended up raising their full-year adjusted profit forecast, which is great news for them. Their revenue was up quite substantially. Uh, it was up over 10% to $7.7 billion. To to <coughs> excuse me, total payment volumes increased 14% to $403.9 billion in the first quarter. Their operating margins improved 84 basis points. And finally, we saw their EPS rise to about $1.08 in the last three months. So good news for them. And overall, we had good earnings as they raised their forecasts. For Coca-Cola, they have topped, uh, topped estimates and they have good revenue overall, or higher prices. Their EPS was a beat at 72 cents. Their revenue is at 11.3 billion above expectations. And that's pretty good for them. Net sales rose 3% to so $11.3 billion. And overall, we're seeing some nice growth so far. So this has been pretty good for them. Their full year guidance is also expecting to grow 8 to 9%, which is up from its prior range of 6 to 7%. So overall, they raised guidance. They're doing relatively well. And that's great news for them moving forward. Now, when it comes to other things about the markets, we saw the market climbing quite a bit, but we're at some tight resistance levels to be watching for. McDonald's had kind of mixed earnings overall. Uh, they, they had a slight beat on revenue, but earnings per share were just below estimates. On top of this, Paramount Global has some new news coming out that they're kind of letting go of their CEO. So it is what it is. VW has reported a 20% drop in their operating profits. Sometimes that happens, and we're going to be looking for new labels coming out for Walmarts. Uh, on top of all of this, I just wanted to call out that Tesla has a price target cut. We have Evercore coming out, cutting Tesla's price target to $145, saying that there's still hardships for the company. And we got more news about layoffs for the company, so some negative, negative news did come out for Tesla. Now let's break down the share prices. So what do I see in the market right here? So SPY is currently down a little bit. Uh, we're currently at about $508.35. So if we end up losing support at 508, you're going to be looking at 507, which is where our 200 EMA happens to be. And then losing that, we're going to dip all the way down to 505.5. That's our last support before we have this gap filled down to the 503. So that's going to be a big drop if we end up losing 507. So it's going to be very important to be watching for. For resistance watch 510, we'll see if this breaks or not. We might see a little attempt to get back up here, but I want to be very careful because 510 is a very, very tough resistance and SPY is in a very, very critical place. So we'll have to see how it, it ends up holding from there. On top of all of that, for today, I think we might retest our 20 EMA at 509, come back down and just kind of shuffle in this range for some time before we see some uh, big reaction. And I think that's going to depend more on FOMC, so wait for that. For Tesla... Tesla's currently at 187.5. Uh, 
we're at 187.5 on tesla a very close to that support it could rebound a bit towards 190 one more time before it continues lower so look for a little pop and then drop like move if it loses 187.5 look for a dip towards 185 and 182 i could see tesla dipping a little bit because we had a lot of negative news in the market sinking a bit so look for a rebound and a drop on tesla for nvidia we're looking a little bit weak right now we had this high being established at about 885 and we we're kind of struggling to break through that this kind of resembles the head and shoulders as well so look for a retest of 877 then a dip all the way down to 860 if that fills us watch for 848 so i would say this is looking a bit more bearish i think that there's a risk of downside on nvidia i think there's a very good chance that this could fall even lower so i think it's very probable that that's likely going to happen i think that this could start dipping and I, I find that to be very, very probable for NVIDIA as well. So look for a little retest of 877, then a dip back down into the 860 area, and we'll have to see how things go moving forward. For the QQQ, uh, we have this range right here. We have 434 as resistance and 430 as support. If we lose 430, we're going to be dipping all the way down to 429 and eventually lower levels such as 425. But I think that we're just going to be range bound for some time. So look for a little rebound and a test of 432 again where we just shuffle for some time and then we'll see which way we break but there is a risk of this actually rejecting so just be careful since resistance is tied at 434. for apple apple's on a very very nice uptrend approaching its earnings but just be careful because we have this cap to fill below and i, I did warn you guys that we might dip down to the 172s before we try to bounce so i still think that's going to likely happen so look for a little dip on apple before we try to rebound so watch for that very carefully just for a few more i know it's getting kind of late right now uh the market opens in just a few minutes Amazon's going to likely remain up here. We're going to be looking at this resistance at about 183.5. We have support currently at 179. We could slowly uptrend a little bit more on Amazon, in my opinion. Uh, but earnings will cause a much bigger move. For Meta, we're looking a little weak. Watch this 430 area to see if we base here. If we lose this 424, it's going to before it tries to bounce. So watch for that as well. So we'll be very patient from here, guys. Thank you all so much for listening. Have an absolutely incredible rest of the day. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next one. Be mindful that the market could attempt to rebound just a bit before we start sinking. I'll watch the supports I called out to see if these hold, and then we'll see how things go from here. All right, so have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys very soon uh, in just about a couple of hours. Uh, don't forget that when the market opens, there are two main times people looking for volatility. Just one more reminder. At 9.45 a.m., 15 minutes after the market opens, look for volatility. And at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, one hour after open. So we'll see how things go. I just want to say I really appreciate everyone. And I'll see you guys very soon in just about one and a half to two hours. All right. So I hope for the best for everyone. Thank you. And uh, do what you have to do that's necessary for your portfolios. Thank you and peace out.